there's a question a lot of folks been asking for a long time and I'm I'm just going to go ahead and lay out the answer for y'all. The question is, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And the answer is, it depends. Where's this woodchuck chucking wood at? If it's in Canada, probably as much as he wants. As much as he can stand. If it's in Mexico, it's probably like, what the fuck is a woodchuck doing in Mexico? To be completely honest, I have no fucking idea what a woodchuck is. But here in these United States of America, there is a, an entire group of people hired by the government to observe how much wood a woodchuck can chuck. And they get paid. I'm not real sure what their budget is, but it's probably more than it's worth. They probably got, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000 employees uh, checking permits and everything, making sure these woodchucks are chucking the wood they're supposed to be chucking. And somebody's got to be there to give them ridiculous fucking forms to fill out. Like, sir, uh, Mr. Woodchuck, have you any experience with chucking wood? Are you a native woodchuck? Are you a white, non-Hispanic woodchuck? There's probably a whole nother branch of the EPA dedicated just to monitor how much wood is being chucked by these woodchucks. Then there's another government-funded agency out protecting the rights of the woodchuck, fighting the other government agency that's regulating the woodchucks. It's an extremely complicated answer to come up with on how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And only in America would it be if he could chuck wood. Because anywhere else in the world, fuck it, just let him chuck wood. But no, we gotta run his background and make sure he can chuck wood here. There'll be that one guy that takes his made-up job way too fucking seriously, just like on that commercial. Are you woodchucks? Quit chucking that wood! It'll eventually get where it's too much trouble to go through all the all the paperwork and regulations and meeting all the standards to chuck wood, so all the woodchucks gonna give up what they do. They gonna all go to school to be woodpeckers. Well, that's gonna flood the woodpecker market, and there's gonna be a thousand woodpeckers, certified woodpeckers out there that ain't gonna have a job, because that's a good job with benefits and shit. You ain't gotta worry about people coming around fucking with you. Uh, in the meantime, you're gonna have, uh, 10,000 unexperienced, unqualified woodchucks out there trying to chuck wood, and, uh, economy's gonna start crashing, and everybody's gonna blame it on who? Damn sure ain't the government. They created 10,000 woodchuck jobs. Unemployment rate's gonna go down because they're gonna hire twice as many woodchucks because they're inexperienced and they gotta get the job done. They're going to hire all of them to come in and take all the experienced woodchucks place. And then all you're going to have is a bunch of experienced woodchucks out of work because they can't find a job pecking wood anywhere. Uh, what the fuck is a woodchuck?